Hey guys, real quick tip for you uh, people who own the uh, Slash 4x4. It's going to save you a lot of headaches. Uh, if you just got the truck, I, I recommend you do this as soon as possible. If you already have the truck, um, one major annoyance is dirt getting into the drive shaft and tearing up that gorgeous aluminum uh, shaft. Dirt's not really the problem, it's uh, small pebbles, rocks get in there and as the shaft is spinning just grinds away at it. Real quick and easy maintenance tip what you want to do is I don't know how well you can see that electric tape cover the hole where the drive shaft enters the front of the chassis with electric tape make sure you got a good seal all the way around then get razor blade exacto knife and dead center of the where the shaft would enter to make a cross cut straight down straight across just big enough for the shaft to slide in and it acts like a boot not going to keep all the dirt out, but I guarantee you it'll keep those pebbles out of there. And it won't tear up your shaft anymore. Second tip. You notice you're getting dirt inside where the slipper clutch is, or if you're like me and you own a Platinum, you've replaced the slipper clutch with the uh, center differential. You're getting dirt inside there. 90% of that dirt's being driven through the front of that hole up the shaft and into the into the compartment. Electric tape will cut out 90% of that dirt. There's also dirt getting in towards the back here on the Slash 4x4 and the Platinum. has two drain holes for water here and here. Take 3 by 5 millimeter screws and put them in. Notice I've already done that and that'll keep the rest of the dirt from getting inside the uh, compartment. Tip number three, if you own a Platinum, take your front wheels off. Again, if you haven't done this already, very important. Should be on every RC driver's mind, but very important for the Platinum Edition. Your C-blocks, your C-casters for the front, I could take these screws out when I, after my first or second, after my second or third run, by hand. Vibrations already pulling these out. Uh, I use uh, Team Associated uh, Threadlock, Blue Threadlock. Any Blue Threadlock will do. To the uppers, to the lower, and uh, I might not be able to see it, but one up front, so it's three on each side. Got to thread lock those. Um, don't lose your mind if you do drop one. Um, common, common uh, 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 threads on these uh, screws. The upper and lower uses a shoulder screw, just a stock shoulder screw for the upper and the lower. And the front, I think it's a 15 millimeter. Got to check the manual. It's a three by 15. <clears> Hex. <throat> okay, that's it. You know, three quick tips save you a lot of headaches. Thread lock the front. Get the electric tape on this. Keep the dirt out the front of the shaft here. And kill these two drain holes. Don't need them. Unless you're really, really going to be doing a lot of water driving. Um, I just can't see uh, those two extra holes. Again, Traxxas says that's the drainage. Um, Unless you're going to be driving the truck in a pool, close them off. Uh, I think the water will do less damage than the dirt. Uh, your call. But again, three easy tips save you a world of headaches.